Hi everyone, it's Lindy. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another What Sold video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my sales for the week of August 2nd through August 8th, 2019. So I'm going to take you over to my computer screen and I want to talk about the sales that I had over this last week as well as anything that I have learned in regarding those sales and I'll also show you some of the items that have sold for me over this last week that had some sort of significance or maybe it's a teachable moment. So let's head on over to my computer and we're going to talk about sales for the week of August 2nd through August 8th, 2019. Let's go. All right, you guys, here is a blanket overview of my sales for this week. I had $1,943.65 in sales. I was $57 away from 2,000. I was so hoping I was gonna hit 2,000 this week and I came so close, but that's okay, it was still significantly better than the prior week. The prior week um, I was down and now I am back up 173.2% in sales. So it's kind of hard to complain when I'm up that much, but I was that close, that close to 2000 in sales. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the items that sold. Okay, first up, are these Xantrex Black Rapid Release Weight Loss Supplements. So I actually sold three boxes to one person. So the total purchase was $56.67. Um, I did have to end up shipping this in a regional A box um, because the boxes are pretty big uh, and they all didn't fit in a padded flat rate. So luckily the buyer was close enough to me where a regional A box was pretty inexpensive. Um, also, total sidebar, let me know down in the comments below if you guys are in need of some information about the regional A and regional B boxes. I do use a lot of regional A, not so much regional B, but I do use a lot of regional A, and it seems like there's a lot of confusion around when to use those boxes and exactly how to. So drop down in the comments below if you're interested in me going into a little bit more detail in a video about that. Um, but anyways, so on this sale, after fees, shipping, and cost of goods, my total profit was $36.14. Next up is this Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. Um, now, I did not sell it for the $43.48. Again, this is something that I took an offer on, and for some reason, it's defaulting back to the regular price, but I took an offer of $37 on this item. It did have to end up shipping priority due to weight. And so after fees, shipping, and cost of goods, my total profit on this sale was $18.84. So a lot of the items that I have to show you this week are quick sellers. So this was a bottle of Claritin. It had 90 tablets in it. So this is something that actually sold within an hour. I had listed it and within an hour I received an offer of $14, which as you can see, an offer of $14 is extremely close to my purchase price, so of course I accepted it immediately. And it brought me in a profit of $7.67. And it sold so quick. I I knew that Claritin would sell reasonably fast, especially because I did price it pretty competitively compared to the other people. Um, usually, if there's a lot of listings that I'm going to be competing against, I try to uh, try to price either the most competitively or right in the bottom 10%. And that's what I did with this item. And then of course I had best offer on there too. So I knew that was going to help me, but within an hour, I mean, whoo, come on. That was a quick sale. This was something else that sold lightning fast. It was an Olay Regenerist Advanced Anti-Aging Moisturizer. So this was something else that sold within a few hours of listing it for $14.14. After shipping, fees, and cost of goods, my total profit was $7.80. 
And again, anything Olay seems to sell super fast for me. I'm talking within a few hours or 24 hours at most. Um, and another example of Olay, these here, Olay Regenerist Whip Active Moisturizer. So I actually sold three of these within about three hours. So I actually, I pulled up the wrong listing to show you guys. So there was actually two separate listings. There was this one, the one that I'm showing you that sold. And then there was a second listing that had a quantity of two on it. Um, not, it wasn't a lot of two that sold, but it was a single listing that had two available. And both of the two in the other listing and this one all sold within three hours of having been listed. They all sold for the same amount. If you're wondering why I did two separate listings, it was because this one was just a tad different than the other one. This one was really showcasing that uh, 25 SPF um, sunscreen in the moisturizer. The other one didn't really emphasize that too much and the packaging was different. When the packaging is really different and you can tell that they're really highlighting certain key elements in the face facial moisturizer, I wanted to make sure that I had two separate listings so that people could know that there's a difference. And my profit on each of these after they sold was right around $7.72 per unit. So next up is this Boots Number no. 7 Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Facial Serum. So I wanted to talk about this item for a couple of different reasons. First off, I had two. They both sold, and they both sold for full, for full price, the $18.89 for each one. Uh, the reason why I wanted to talk about this is the damage done to the box. So you can clearly see here that this box is all kinds of dinged up, right? So I wanted to make sure that I photographed the dented box. A lot of people will use stock photos or they will try to find a photo of a really good looking box because they want to hide the fact that the box is damaged. Now, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this item. The item is new, it's unused. The only problem was the box. The box was completely banged up. I, on the other hand, want to showcase the beat up box because I would be too worried that my buyers would expect a good looking box and they end up getting one banged up and being dissatisfied. I also make sure to put in the listing that it is a damaged box. You could see right here under my condition, I say it's new, unused, damaged box. Sometimes if the box is really banged up, I'll even bold damaged box because I wanna make sure that my buyers know that the box is not in perfect shape. So I wanted to showcase this because I wanted to really make sure that you knew not to be afraid to list items with damaged boxes. They will still sell and they will still sell for good money. So after fees, shipping, and cost of goods, my profit on each one of these that sold was $11.67. Next up is this Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer Holder. It's actually a stand. There we go. It's just a stand to hold the hair dryer and the tools, the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer. Sold for $42.64. Uh, it did have to go priority by weight because it was very, very heavy. And how I shipped this, since it was in a nice box already, I basically just fashioned two very large poly mailers around it and just shipped it priority by weight. So after fees, shipping, and cost of goods, my total profit on this sale was $20.70. Next up is this Braun No Touch Forehead Thermometer. Uh, it sold very, very quickly. Again, continuing on with the theme of things selling super fast. This sold within about two hours of me listing it. Again, this was a damaged box item, but it didn't matter. It still sold for $22.69. 
Again, this is something else. See, this is the example of when I um, when I do bold lettering for the damaged box right here. Condition brand new unused damaged box. I want to make sure that people know that the box has been pretty banged up. And I'll even make sure to photograph any of the big significant flaws that I see in the box. But anyways, after fees, shipping, and cost of goods, my total profit on this Braun thermometer was $12.75. So we're back to another example of the power of the small items. So here's a number seven instant illusion wrinkle filler. It sold for $17.37. You can see here that I did have two and both have sold. So this shipped for four ounces and I shipped it in a very small box and it was still only four ounces. That's how lightweight this item was. And it was super powerful as a small because even after shipping fees and cost of goods, my total profit was $10.70 on each one of these that sold. And they didn't sell as lightning speed as other items have, but they still sold within a week of listing, which is very, very good. Next, we have this Diesel Fuel for Life by Diesel Cologne Spray. So this is something, again, sold within a few hours of me listing it. I did price it super competitively, though. Some people were selling it for as high as $44, some people as low as $20. I went ahead and priced it somewhere in the middle because this box did have a lot of damage done to it, so I didn't think it would command a premium price around $40, but it sold for $28. 39 and after fees shipping and cost of goods my total profit was eighteen dollars and eight cents all right well i didn't sell any condoms this week but this is pretty close so this is a luxury silicone lubricant uh, it's by wet platinum and again this is something that sold pretty quick it sold within 24 hours for ten dollars and 34 cents and after shipping fees and cost of goods, my total profit was $4.20. So a profit of $4.21 isn't super fantastic, but I did want to go ahead and talk about this item just because I think it's something that a lot of people are scared to sell or they might overlook selling. Uh, if you can find items like lubricants or the condoms that I've been showing, those are definitely consistent sellers, so definitely don't overlook those. The profits might not be sky high, but they're super duper consistent. Next up is a set of two boxes of Nicorette lozenges. They are the four milligram mint flavor. So two boxes sold for $47.39. They did have to go priority because these are rather large boxes. They're 72 lozenges per box. And so two boxes, it did have to go priority in a padded flat rate. After fees, shipping, and cost of goods, my total profit on this sale was $31.05. Next is a water pick water flosser. It was the Cordless Plus, the 40, or the, 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 if I can speak, it's the Cordless Plus the 450W model, it came with four tips and two pressure settings, sold for $45.49. Again, this is something else that I always say, keep a lookout or a bolo, if that's what you want to call it. Anytime I have ever sold anything water pick, it sells overnight consistently. Uh, it did sell, again, within a few hours of being listed for full price. There was no uh, best offer, no negotiations. It just sold. And after shipping fees and cost of goods, my total profit on the sale was $29.38. Okay, so this next item was, it was a good sale, but it was kind of a whoopsie that I wanted to talk about. So it's, I believe it's pronounced Misha, M-I-S-S-H-A. It's the Super Aqua Cell Renewal Snail Cream. Uh, so as you can see here, I sold three of them. They all three sold to the same person for $21.74 a piece. Here's where the whoopsie came in. So at the time I was running a buy two, get one free sale, I had meant to exclude this item 
from the buy two, get one three, uh, free promotion. And I neglected to disinclude it within the promotion and someone used it. And so they were able to get three for a total of $43.48, which is a really, really good deal for them. But I was hoping to get a little bit more profit for each one. Um, my total profit on all three that sold was $26.19. Again, it was just my bad. I should have excluded it from the promotion, um, which you can do if you run a store-wide promotion within eBay. You can go in and single out certain item numbers that you don't want to be included in that promotion. And this was one that I was going to do and I slacked off and forgot about it. And then lo and behold, somebody used the promotion on it, but someone got a really good sale and I still made a profit of $26 and 19 cents on this sale. Next is a Philips Sonicare Protective Clean 5100 toothbrush. It was brand new in the box, never been opened, sold for $52.14. Again, this is something that sold overnight. Uh, I want to say within 12 hours it sold. Um, after shipping fees and cost of goods, my total profit on this sale was $35.23. Next, I want to talk about razors. So this was a Gillette Fusion 5 Pro Glide set of 12 razor cartridges. It sold for $25.78. It sold very, very quickly. It sold within about two days. You can see here that I had two and both have sold for full price. Each time one of these sold, I had a net profit of $15.98. I wanted to talk about something having to do with razors. So razors are always a really good seller on eBay. They always sell pretty fast. But one of the things that I always try to make sure I put in my title, and this of course is just my preference, but I always try to say something about the razors being genuine. So you can see right here, 100% original, made in the USA, all that kind of stuff. So a lot of the times with listings, you don't want to put a bunch of garbage keywords in there. You know, you don't always want to put like super cute or beautiful or clean or, you know, things like that. Like it's almost a waste of keywords. But when it comes to razor blades, I always try to put something like genuine or original or something like that in the title because there is a big issue with name brand razor cartridges being knocked kind of, I guess, knocked off on eBay. Uh, a lot of the times people will buy what they think would be Gillette Fusion 5 Pro, uh, Pro Glide cartridges, but what they end up getting is a no-name brand ship from China. So something that I try to do is let people know, no, these are true Gillette razor cartridges so that they know that when they're buying it and they if they are wanting the genuine real deal my listing is going to tell them that because knockoffs and non-name brand razor cartridges are really big on ebay right now and the last item that i have to show you is this sonia kashuk distressed floral uh, and gold foil hanging valet bag um I wanted to talk about this because I wanted to bring up stock photos. Okay, so firstly, this item sold for $18.94. It did not sell super quick. It did sit around a little while, uh, but it did sell and it, sit, and it sold for full price. So that was greatly appreciated. What I wanted to talk about was the use of stock photos. So using stock photos on eBay is definitely not something that you should be looking to do. You always want to take your own photos. The only time that I will use something like a stock photo is just to demonstrate exactly what the item is. So this item here, it's, you can see, completely sealed. It's brand new. It's completely sealed in the original packaging. The last thing I want to do is tear it open so that I can show what it looks like when it's supposed to be open. So for that reason, I did use a stock photo just so that people could see what the item was supposed to function as without compromising the integrity of the factory seal. Um, so just so you know, 
stock photos are not supposed to be used as regular practice on eBay, but for something like this, I personally decided to, to go ahead and do that just so that the buyer could see what it was supposed to look like. So after fees, shipping, and cost of goods, my total profit on this sale was $9.40. And all right, you guys, that's all I have to show you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, do feel free to leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a like if you like videos like this. Don't forget to check the video description. I will put some useful links in there for you. And please do feel free to subscribe if you're interested in seeing more content. And I'll see you guys with my next video. Bye-bye.